Hello, class. Uh, we are going to read you a book. Can you say hi, Virginia? Hi. This is my daughter. For those of you that don't know her, those of you that taught her, she misses you greatly. This is called Our... Oops, sorry. There it is. Our Family Tree. An Evolution Story. Yeah, you can see the pictures too. Right. All of us are part of an old family tree. The roots of our family tree reach way back to the beginning of life on Earth. We've changed a lot since then. Okay. There we go. When we began, we didn't look like people. We didn't have two eyes to blink or ten toes to wiggle. We were just tiny round cells in the deep, dark sea. On the outside, we were so small, we were almost invisible. But on the inside, we had the same kind of spiraling genetic code for life that we have today. You can kind of see the genetic code. And there's our single-celled organisms. And that's the way our family stayed, generation after generation, year after year, for millions of years, tiny and round, floating in the sea. But the earth changed, land rose from the oceans, the air filled with oxygen, life changed too, slowly, slowly, one step at a time. Some cells joined together and became plants. Our cells joined together and we became animals. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Hey, look, there's us. Mm-hmm. That's us right there. <laughs> As the seas rose and fell, our family changed again. Look, there's us. Mm -hmm. Are we fishies? Are we little fishies? Mm -hmm. I think I missed the page. Mm. Here we go. Sorry. On the outside, we were squishy and soft like worms. On the insides, our cells had many shapes and squares, like boxes, pointy stars, and round ripe seeds, the same way they do now. That is what we used to look like. As the seas rose and fell, our family changed again. Uh, we're little fishies. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that us? That little tail? On the outside, we had scales to protect us and fins to on each side to swim against strong currents. On the inside, we had spiny backbones that helped us move freely as we do today. There we go. This is, I think we're the blue fish. Yeah, me too. There's our backbone. Look, we have little arms inside our fins. Mm -hmm. When the families of green plants and insects began living on land, we followed them. Where are we? Right there. With those two eyes. Cool salamander. On the outside, we still had scales, but we looked different. Like huge salamanders, we crawled out of the sea on legs, two on each side. We didn't stray far, and we returned to the water to lay our eggs. On the inside, we had lungs to breathe oxygen, like we do now. But they don't breathe. We we don't. We, they don't breathe uh, in water, right? Right. They don't breathe in water. They have to breathe out of water. Like this. Like that. All of the continents on Earth slowly joined together, and we left the water completely. Did we never go back to it? No, we've never gone back. Sorry, guys. There we go. I keep messing up which direction the pages go. 
the outside, we looked like a hairy lizard. We hunted all day and had sharp teeth to tear our food. On the inside, our blood ran warm, almost as warm as it does today. The book got a scar in that screen. I know, I'm holding it away. One of the Earth's darkest times, nearly all life on Earth went extinct. But many families survived. Ours was among them. There's us. Mm -hmm. On the outside, we were small and furry. We hid or slept during the day. We scurried about at night. On the inside, we made milk for our babies the way we do now. Can I see the milk? Where's the milk? Hmm. Oh, right nope. there. Nursing the young over there. After an asteroid shattered the calm layer of, and the calm and a layer of fine dust settled on everything, we changed again. There's us, those little monkeys. Mm -hmm. First we were monkeys before we came. Kinda, we're like that monkey. On the outside, we looked like we do now, more and more like we do now. But we still walked on our fours. We climbed tree trunks with our thumbs and thumbnails, toes and toenails. On the inside, our bones of our hand looked almost the same as they do today. Oops. There we go. Sorry. After the earth cooled and the forest shrank, we left the trees to live in open grasslands. Look, there's us right there. Those standing tall people. On the outside, we walked on upright on two legs with our two arms free for using tools. On the inside, we had large brains, but not as big as they are now. Today is a long long time from where our family started slowly slowly one step at a time we changed can 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 we can i point at each one and you mm -hmm. say it yep. daddy can, can you turn around turn around like this way so we can see it yeah okay that's dna those are single cells those are lobe fin fishes or fish that can kind of scurry up on land those are giant amphibians. Those are the dino dogs, right? The hairy dinosaurs. Yeah. Those are mammals, kind of like a possum, right? Those are our ape-like ancestors. Are they monkeys? Kind of. And that is probably Australopithecus afarelius or africanus. One of our distant and, and ancestors. And there's us all grown up. Yep, there's us all grown up. So that's our missing link we call that guy. What's missing link? The difference between us and them in the history. On the outside, we were all people from the size of our head to the shape of our toes. On the inside, we were all people with big brains that wonder who we are and where we came from and what we're going to do next. We began as tiny round cells, but we've changed a lot since then. But we carry with us reminders of each step of our past. That is how it is with families, and ours goes back a long, long way. Hold on, hold on, up, 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 up. Wait, I show the picture here. There we go. Now, can you do that little colored part? Mm -hmm. We were just tiny round cells in the deep, dark sea. Now, I'm going to read this part for my students. We inherited something very basic from the first life on Earth, a molecule with a long name, deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, which was the genetic code for these early living cells. When they reproduced, 
they passed on their genetic code to the next generation and the next to the next. Today, all life still contains DNA, which means that all life is related and can be traced to a common ancestor. Single-celled life remains very successful and perhaps the dominant form of life on Earth. This one? Our cells are joined together and we became animals. We inherited specialized cells like those for skin, muscles, and nerves from the first animals. Specialized cells do different jobs, but they cooperate with each other. We also inherited the ability to use oxygen to extract energy from our food. Algae and plants don't consume oxygen, they produce it. We split off from their family tree long ago. Which one? Well, all the fishies. Okay. We had spiny backbones that helped us move freely as we do today. We inherited our backbones from the first fish. A backbone provides an attachment point for muscles and holds a cord inside for carrying messages to the brain. Animals like lobsters and insects that have hard skeletons on the outside of their bodies are in a different family tree. Ready? We had lungs to breathe oxygen like we do now. We inherited our air breathing lungs from fish too. All fish use their gills. Mm -hmm. All fish use gills to pull oxygen from the water, but some fish also develop lungs for gulping air. Some of these fish, the lobed fins, began to explore the shorelines, walking, quote unquote, with their strong fins. Over many, many generations, their fins evolved into four legs and the four feet of the earliest amphibians. Our blood ran warm, almost as warm as it does today. We inherited our warm-bloodedness from a mammal-like reptile that is now extinct. These reptiles, the theraspids, the oh, therapids, I think is how you say it, were the first land animals to stay active, hunting and escaping predators for most of the day. Cold-blooded animals then and now have to rest during the day to soak up heat from the sun. We also inherited hair, which insulates us from the cold. From the therapids. Birds with the feathers for insulation evolved from dinosaurs are in a different family tree. This one. We made milk for our babies the way we do now. Our mothers inherited their ability to produce milk for their babies from early mammals. Milk glands evolved from the sweat glands of these early mammals which were small as shrews and had to hide from other dinosaurs. These early mammals slept during the day, hunted for food at night. They didn't develop larger bodies until the dominant dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. 65? 65 million. The bones in our hand look almost the same as they do today. We inherited five digits in our hands and feet from amphibians. We inherited our fingernails toenails which evolved from claws from the early primates. These primates didn't need claws because they had opposable thumbs that could grip tree branches. The flat nails protected the tops of their fingers like this. The sensitive pads on the opposite side helped primates grab insects and handle fruit. We had large brains but not as big as they are now. We inherited our, our larger than aval, average for mammals, brains from early primates, and most recently, early hominids, or human-like ancestors. They, the trend towards large brains may have persisted because these hominids had greater social demands. We also inherited our ability to walk upright from early hominids. No one is entirely sure where these hominids or why these hominids started walking upright. One idea is they found it advantageous to have their hands free to carry things. We are all people. We inherited our distinct human features from the first generations of Homo sapien, which means wise human. Homo sapiens evolved 100,000 to 200,000 years ago in Africa. That's only about 7,000 generations ago. That's 7,000 parents, grandparents on back. Not very many considering how long life has existed on Earth. Humans evolved so recently that any two of us are 99% identical genetically. And yet, we are certainly different from each other. 
inherited traits such as eye color and height, and maybe some other things like talents and diseases from our most immediate ancestors, our parents. There is our family tree timeline. Take a look at that for a sec. I can't look at it real quick. Right? It's all the things we talked about. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was Australopithecus there at the end. All right. Can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? bye.